to what we've learned today about that shooting outside a Tampa nightclub that was hosting a teen night. Yeah, we learned today that these two were the people who were killed. A 15 year old girl at a 25 year old man who were sitting in a car when they were both shot and killed by security guards. Deputies today say that the guards saw someone shooting from that car before they opened fire. Our Clifton French is joining us live at the club on 50th Street. And Clifton, you had a chance to talk to both of those families of the people killed today, right? Yeah, you know, they all just have a lot of questions about exactly what happened. Now, the scene here cleared a couple of hours ago, but I want to show you something. Several of the vehicles in this parking lot still have bullet holes, including this truck. The truck on the other side, I believe another vehicle over there also has bullet holes in the side of it as well. Now, this is where this happened. This is a storage facility that can be rented out for parties. And last night it was a teen night. Now I'm told there were a series of fights inside, so staff was closing the party early. And as folks were leaving, armed security heard fireworks, then gunshots and saw a weapon being fired from a vehicle. Now inside of that vehicle were these two people. Family members tell me 15 year old Jaleesa Jackson and the older Jihad Grant are longtime friends. Grant was simply giving Jackson a ride. Uh, they say they they say that that behavior described does not sound like their loved ones at all. All I just want to know is why did the security guard had to shoot so many times in a car occupied with juveniles? It's just hurt so bad. My family, we all destroyed out here. It's a lot of violence going on as it is. Now, I did some checking and found out that Grant does have a criminal history, including weapons charges. Now, regardless of anything that happened out here. This is still tragic for these two families. I found out that both of these two, uh, these two people who were killed, both of them have two month old children at home. Families obviously figuring out how they're going to care for these children without some of their parents. I'm reporting live in Tampa tonight. Clifton French, ABC Action News.